Good morning and happy Friday, VBHS. We hope you had a great week. Thanks for always tuning in. We'll catch you up on things that have been happening. Here's your episode 163 of PPN. First up for your VBHS news, the countdown has begun. Senior week is next week. PPN will have two more regular episodes and end season six with a senior special on April 26th. We have five weeks left until your books arrive and the seniors depart. And the rest of us only have eight weeks left. So buckle in folks, let's do our best to finish this year out strong. Other important dates worth writing down. On April 16th, we do another round of Atlas testing. On April 22nd is top 40. On April 30th, we have yet another round of Atlas testing. First week of May, yearbooks will be here. And graduation night is May 17th. Welcome to last week's sports. Monday, softball played Ozark. And then Tuesday, boys and girls soccer played against Elma. And then Thursday, baseball and softball playing against Greenwood. I'm recording sports. And then Friday, softball played Atkins. And then to finish off the week Saturday, softball played at the River City Rumble. That's it for last week's sports. Now on to this week's sports. Welcome to sports. Yay! Tuesday. Soccer goes to Salem Springs. Baseball and softball host Mountain Home. Thursday. Track goes to Alma. Baseball goes to Benton. Softball goes to Gentry. Today. Soccer hosts Russellville. And softball travels to Rogers. Welcome to next week's sports. <laughs> Tuesday. Baseball and softball have double headers at Alma. <laughs> Thursday, the baseball team has a game at Bentonville West. On Friday, soccer goes to Greenbrier, track hosts the Pointer Relays, and the softball team hosts Valonia. Is this a video or a photo? Welcome to weather. Today, we're in the great outdoors. Also today, we're going to have a high of 71 and a low of 36. Over the weekend, we're going to have a high of 75 and a low of 49. Through the next week, we're going to have a high of 78 and a low of 47, and it's going to be rainy. And that's weather for this week. Thank you very much. Yeah! OpenAI's new tool can sound just like you. This week, OpenAI began previewing its new program, Voice Engine, which can copy a human voice from a 15-second recording to select companies. But it hasn't set a date for its public rollout yet and told TechCrunch that's to give the company time to work through how it can be used and misused. We can only imagine. When it comes to methane emissions, stop blaming cows. Blame trash. Landfills emit the greenhouse gas at almost three times the rate previously reported to federal regulators, according to a new study published in Science. Most climate change policies that target methane emissions focus primarily on the oil and gas industry, but the scientists behind the study argue that their data proves landfills should also be considered. Even if we transition to cleaner fuels, we're still going to be dealing with waste management, Cussworth said, per the CC. So watch how much trash you make in a week, and remember that it goes to a dump somewhere. Yikes. In the Middle East, Benjamin Netanyahu's cabinet is divided about whether ultra-Orthodox Jews should be required to join the Israeli army. Negotiations on a ceasefire and the war in Gaza are expected to resume today in Cairo according to the Egyptian state-owned TV channel. Airdrops play a prominent role in effects to deliver food and supplies to Gaza. A Times photographer observed one aboard a Jordanian Air Force plane. See the images. U.S.-led airstrikes against the Houthi militia and inflation have raised concerns about a new humanitarian crisis in Yemen. Other big headlines, cleanup of the Francis Scott Key Bridge gets underway. Texas valuation has declined by 73% since Elon Musk bought the company, according to Fidelity. 73 million customers were affected by AT&T data leak. The communications giant said that 7.6 million current customers and 65.4 million former customers had their personal information leaked to the dark web approximately two weeks ago, forcing the company to reset the passcodes of current customers. Lastly, unless you're living under a rock, you know that Monday is the solar eclipse. So why is it such a big deal? In 2017, an estimated 215 million U.S. adults viewed the solar eclipse either directly or electronically. 
They experience the moon pass in front of the sun, blocking part or all of our closest star's bright face. This one is expected to be more exciting. It's a total solar eclipse. The path of totality, where viewers can see the moon totally block the sun, revealing the star's outer atmosphere, called the corona, is much wider during the upcoming total solar eclipse than it was during the eclipse in 2017. And lucky for us in Arkansas, we're right in the path of totality. Totality will also last longer than it did in 2017. Here's what you need to know for your own sake. Use approved solar viewing glasses to protect your eyes from harmful solar radiation. Never look directly at the sun without proper protection except during totality. Emergency preparedness. With increased visitor numbers, be prepared for potential delays in service. It is also important to know that some cellular devices may lose connection and limit the ability to call. Have essential supplies on hand including food, water, medication, and a first aid kit. Pet safety. Keep pets and animals secure on leashes or in kennels during the eclipse to prevent distress or disorientation. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to DM our Instagram, BBHS Pointer Pack News, so we can feature you in our student submission section. Till then, wear your seatbelts, drink some water, and tell someone you love them. Have a great weekend.